All right, we all know that real estate prices here in Denver are sky high. We've been talking about it for some time yes. now, in fact. <laughs> the city says, though, here's the issue. That is pushing more people, especially artists, to potentially unsafe buildings. So what is the city of Denver's solution? Let's let them stay there. Nicole Brady is live in the Rhino Arts District this morning. Nicole, the city's new plan is rather unique. It is really unique, Mitch. It would actually be the first city in the country to allow people to live in these unpermitted buildings, live and work. Like this one right here in Rhino. This used to house the Rhinoceropolis, but this notice has been on the door since December when the city found serious fire code violations. So under this plan, the city would let people stay in these buildings as improvements are made with a conditional occupancy agreement. The city actually met with artists earlier this year and discovered that a lot of artists in Denver and other vulnerable groups simply cannot afford those sky high rent prices. They can't afford to lease space in newer buildings. That meeting actually got pretty heated. We built this town. There would be no Denver Art Museum without artists. There would be no MCA Denver without artists. Every cultural institution in this town came from us. So the city wants to send a message to artists that they are valued, but they should be safe as well. And this program, conditional occupancy, isn't just for artist spaces. It could be for buildings with other uses as well, as long as those building owners are willing to work with the city to make things safe for everyone. We're live in Rhino this morning. Nicole Brady, Denver 7.